going on you guys? Real Diggers here. Today we're talking about The Coming of Sin. Uh, the, the original title, The Violation of the Bitch. I don't know why. I don't know why. Doesn't I make don't any know sense. why either. Uh, there's almost a violation, but not quite. She hits him in the head with a rock. Yeah, hits him right in the head. Because, uh, Zac Efron. Yeah, the, there's a character in this movie, uh, we, we call him Zac Efron because... Yeah. God damn, does he look like Zac Efron. <laughs> it was incredible. I, re I really thought he would look less like Zac Efron the closer to the guy, but no, it's the opposite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For sure. Cl full on, like, extreme close up. I mean, that guy's in High School Musical. You, you can't tell me otherwise. Uh, this movie is about Triana's a housemaid <laughs> for this uh, other lady, Miss Granger, who has some business to take care of in England. Mm -hmm. Beverly Granger. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so she drops. The husband drops... hated her, that's why. The husband was like, we're getting the fuck out of here, leave that bitch here. So Miss Granger takes takes Triana to Lorna's house, Miss Western's house. Uh huh, uh huh. To stay there for a little while while she gets affairs in order. In England. In England. And then they start banging. Triana, Triana only has one pair of clothes. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah dude. The whole freaking movie, dude, she's like in this pink. I don't even know what you call it. Blouse is a pink blouse. It's a basic ass made pink blouse, and I think it was black black skirt. You have uh, Raphael or Chico. 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 Or yeah. It's the same. It's the same yeah. guy. Yeah. Zac so, Efron. So yeah, Zac Zac Efron. Efron, Zac Efron is Chico, and Chico is a. Can we just call him Zac Efron? Like they know his name now. Can we just? Chico is Zac Efron. So Zac Efron in this movie. Uh, is a is a barebacked, bare ass, horse riding motherfucker. Okay. He doesn't wear a saddle either. No uh, saddle, just bouncing right off his nose. Which, which he claims is easier. He claims it's easier. He claims it. He claims it's easier. Like he also claims he's not a rapist. It's I think probably it would hurt in the script. A lot. To but it's it. probably in the script. Yeah. Wait, I guarantee you, it's in the script. He said it in the film. I know. <laughs> so right now you have Chico, this bare ass horse rider, who is in. Uh, Triana's dreams, and it's not it's not good. She she hates she hates the guy. She freaking hates him because because a, a, a fortune teller gave her a palm reading, and said, uh, "Muerte." Yeah yeah. Said, said, Muerte. Said, 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 said the two of you guys being together is muerte, which for the English viewers out there means death. Yeah, which which means death. But it's never it's never explicitly said that it's death for her or for Chico. Zach Efron. Zach Efron. <laughs> <laughs> because the death is wonderful Lorna, which we all loved. But doesn't her. make any sense. It's like she could have prevented this dumbass prophecy. The scene she shoots her from all far away in the chest and it catches me off guard completely. I screamed out. These guys were here. I was like, what the? Yeah. What the fudge? Yeah. 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 What the French toast? What the yeah? <laughs> and it's like why she got jealous? Oh my god! But I she guess. loved Laura. It was the fact that she went off without telling Triana and banging Zac Efron. This one actually had an ending. They rode off into the sunset. Where's it? Where pull it? He killed. That's the, girl the most contrived was... ending. Of course, too. It it's like oh of yeah, we. It is. And he's like oh we gotta end this one. Everybody keeps getting pissed off at me because I'm not ending my movies. What should we do? He's like, let, let me watch a lot of endings. Sunset. Right cool. off into the sunset. Cool, cool. Right, That's yeah. perfect because Zac Efron rides a horse. We'll have him right off into the sunset. They're perfect. Yeah. Yes. And there's our ending. Why was that movie so unfulfilling? Why was it so mediocre? Why? Because it was directed by Jose LaRoz. This director is, uh... Huh! Jose, what the f... Like... <laughs> he gets so many chances in life. And you were he given... He progressed from absolute shit to lower level than mediocre. I mean, the entire movie, I felt like it had some potential. I felt like it, it might go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of the same thing that happened with Whirlpool. Oh. The whole movie seemed like an intro. Yeah. They yeah. Actually, <laughs> they actually finished the movie this time, though. I guess yeah. you learned. Yeah. So, and that's one thing I can say about this trilogy of films that we've watched by uh, Mr. Jose LaRoz is that they got progressively better. He learned, <laughs> he learned something. I did notice in this film that the Theo character, that actor never showed up. 
Thank God. Mm, yeah, man. I think I think he was given up. He's like, I'll buy you out of your contract. No kidding. You're a very weird fella. It's bland. The movie's bland. You know what else is bland? Bread. Coal is what I Coal. was going to say. That's what he means. Coal. coal. Is, is that y'all's ratings? Are yeah. We, doing yeah ratings I'm also now? coal. Coal. Coal? Yeah, it's a coal. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Te dejaría algún libro para que vieras que muchas de esas cosas que te asustan ahora han existido desde siempre. Mujeres que lo han hecho con perros y chivos y hasta con burros, según cuentan algunas leyendas. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've been the real diggers. We shovel through the shit so you don't have to. And we'd really love it if you tune in next week. We're going to have another video out Sunday at 7. Be there or be square. <laughs> It's kind of rectangular, but that's a square. He, he tries. De la semana es Lineado. I got it. Can I just fucking do it? <laughs> I would love that. I would like that.